What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was against the Dark Knights, this uh, fair play mixed uh, town hall clan. Uh, it was quite the mismatch, unfortunately. Let's hop on over. Lost to 2.0 from 102 to 94 for Dark Knights. Uh, they had, so we had one town hall 11 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sorry, town hall 10s. Um, and they had seven town hall 11s. And four, I think actually 11 was also, I think they actually had eight Town Hall 11s and three Town Hall 10s. Uh, so really, really tough matchup for us. And we hung in there till the end and then they really just used their kind of 11s and witches to just bully the crap out of uh, some of our 10s and take care of the rest of our 9s. So is what it is. Tough war, but a few really nice replays in here. Just going to jump right in. This is Mofo taking out this base like a champ. This was a really sexy attack, I thought. Uh, Earthquake goes down just over top uh, of the Inferno and a couple Lightnings to take down that level one Inferno. So that is looking good. Now he's going to start a Queen Charge on this side. Uh, not a lot of trash for her to deal with. Just going to rip through this stuff. And then I believe he opens things up somewhere around here. There it is. Wall Breakers are in. Just got to take care of this stuff, and she's going to walk down and into that compartment. Now, at the same time, she's going to get the air defense. She's going to get the defensive heroes. Um, so everything's looking pretty good at this point. He does have a bit of a scare, I believe, with his queen charge here, but uh, we'll check that in one second. Uh, so the uh, giant goes in and uh, allow the wizards to create that funnel, and then he's going to drop the king. I think the king was a touch late. He probably could have sent it in. I guess he didn't want it to go for a hike. Um, oh, here's the king. That's right. He's going to walk the king kind of across these buildings and then just jump right over this location into that air defense, I believe. That's exactly the plan is. So there goes that rage. Uh, Queen's taking serious fire from the defense queen. He does burst pop the ability, which is a very, very, very smart thing. I don't think he would have been able to take one more shot from that level 30 queen, um, even though the healers were raged up. It was just too much. The king was beating iron. That Tesla was there. Uh, but fantastic job. Poison goes down. Help up with that golem. Queen's going to sit there working on that for a while. So Kinger is in here. Um, kind of doesn't do exactly what he wants at first, but takes out the gold collector, then that cannon, and then rages it up, and it goes back around and just gets that air defense just in time. Here goes the rage. Down goes second air defense. Bam. See you later. That is it. The kill squad is complete. Goes ahead and sends in that first lava hound. Four balloons backing everything up. Four more balloons backing it up. Second hound in. A uh, few more uh, loons in. Third hound in now. <clears throat> So everything's just going to work their way into that air defense. Great value on that freeze. Gets a couple loons over there. Not as many as he would have liked. I think I would have saved a few balloons and now dropped them from this point to get him right on top of that Tesla. Uh, but again, how do you critique that three-star? Uh, a couple balloons in, I believe. Uh, just going to work their way onto this air defense. The Inferno Tower is the last thing to go down, and it does pose a bit of a problem. I bet there was kind of that oh shit moment. Uh, <laughs> where Mofo's like, oh man, I am not going to get this, right? You look at, he's only got pups left. Does have that hound in there. It's not burst yet, but that Expo and Inferno are just doing damage, but barely gets these balloons there just in time. Boom, drops the Inferno Tower. See you later. And down goes the Expo. It's got pups all over the base. Don't forget about this little queen that's been standing on these walls over here for the last minute and a half of the raid. She's going to step up, help with the cleanup. G, G, T, H, 10, triple. Nice job, mofo. <clears throat> so, Kadic, Town Hall 9. Stepping up. Now, this is a Town Hall 11, but the only thing Town Hall 11 about it is the Warden and the level 39 Queen. Other than that, every defense is Town Hall 9. Uh, there are no Inferno Towers. Um... However, this is still an impressive feat for Kadic here because, uh, you know, this is stepping up. We really needed this three-star to kind of at least clear the board and, and be happy with our own game and happy with ourselves, how we performed in this very mismatched war. But um, is what it is. So Kadic's moving in here. Everything's looking good. I believe he's going to open things up here in one moment. Takes out that air defense. He wants this queen to walk up and around now, which is going to happen. A little times two on that. 
Bam, bam, bam. A couple wizards in. There goes the wall breakers. Open things up. She's going to get great value here. Once she works her way through this lava hound, she's going to rage and get all those Teslas. And, and this is basically the entire section of base here. Um, goes ahead and sends in a cold blooded golem down there. A few funneling troops. Locks the king and Valks onto this gold uh, storage. Jump goes down to let everything into that queen chamber. They got to rip down this king as fast as possible and then get into that defensive queen. Without wasting too much time. Really like the use of the poison on the heroes here. Really slowing their fire rate down on that defensive queen. Because level 39 queen is just ripping into that goal. But king gets in there. Bam. Smacks down that queen. Looking good. Uh, that section of the raid is complete. Hound is now dead. And the queen's going to step up here and take out these Teslas under rage in one second. Or not. Da -da 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 -da. Burn through the gold storage and down goes the rage. Like I said, gonna rip through those Teslas like nothing. See you later. See you later. See you later. And keep in mind, he still has 18 hogs in the bag here that he's about to send in on this top section with two heels, right? He just needs to get through basically from the two o'clock to the uh, four o'clock position with these hogs. Even the giant in there to tank, I thought that was really good value as well. Um, all the hogs moving in. He's gonna heal over this Grand Warden uh, statue. I believe, yeah, there goes the heel. Keeping everything up, Grand Warrior statue down. He's got the Expo, Cannon, Air Defense, couple Wizard Towers, and this base is GG Sakatic stepping up versus a, I don't know what you want to call it, a 9.22 or something. <laughs> Anyhow, not taking anything away, Katic. This is a very, very sexy attack at a time of need. We really needed this one. Three stars in the bag for my Dutch friend. Sexy, what else? 16. Peter had a nice six star war. Again, these open concept alleyway bases. I'm still not convinced that they're they're very, very viable. I mean, once you kind of figure out the sections and what the dangers are in each of those sections. This one, there's, like, there's really only three sections to this base. There's this top compartment. It's like a king chamber. Then there's this bottom compartment on the left side with the queen and the CC, and there's one on the right side. Um, so looking at it, you got to imagine you're going to break this raid down to three pieces. So this is exactly what Peter does here. Brings a little queen charge, going to take care of this piece. Then he's going to bring in, I think once he gets close enough and draws the CC out to her, then he brings in another section of the raid with his king and the Valks. Going right in at that queen, takes out the queen and takes out this chamber, and then he's got 14 hogs for the rest. Um, kind of just, it, it's like you're almost laying the base out uh, to have the person break it down in sections, right? Like it's, I don't know. I, I don't agree with it. I haven't, I mean, it obviously works to a point because a lot of guys use it. So I can't say it doesn't work or it's bad. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying definitely not for me because I find them very easy to break down when you don't have to worry about walls. You know, this queen's going to get stood up on this wall for a while and then just work in and continue and help out the hogs here. So here comes that funnel I was talking about. Opens up the wall with these wall breakers. Tests it, test is in and it's good. The rest of them go in, open things up. Going to move these golems right down to this queen chamber. It does have a jump spell to kind of get everything through. I think he puts it right there so he can get everything into this free alleyway that's going to let his Valks into the queen chamber. No, he doesn't. I totally would have done that. Uh, if this were me, I would have just came in from the bottom and dropped a jump right there. It's going to let everything in. Whatever. It is what it is. <clears throat> everything gets smashed up, though. Queen is now down. Hogs in to reinforce. And now he's sending in a bunch of hogs that are going to funnel everything up into this last remaining compartment. Oh, he brought the double jump. So I don't think he would have needed that. If you just drop the one jump here, this alleyway is open. So everything would have jumped out into this alleyway and up and around. I don't know. Weird. Anyways, Tesla core, Tesla's in the core there. Doesn't stand chances. A couple more hogs he's going to send in. He has lost most of his hogs from this point. I don't know if I would have sent them in as well right at that queen chamber. Um, I would probably would have saved the majority of them for this chamber and then let the Valks kind of move in here. But whatever is what it is. Tree stars for Peter. Very sexy attack. This very weird base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven compartments. I don't know. I think it's think it's too little, especially when um, you're allowing the attacker to just run wild through the base as, as they please. So uh, clean up time, expose down, bam, 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 bam. It's tree stars in the bag for Peter. Good job, my friend. Ay, ay, ay.
kind of bust out all these recaps. I'm a little behind. I've been working this new job. So I get home at midnight, or no, not even 1 a.m. Eastern. A lot of times, especially because all the last two weeks, every war I've had in both Invicta and 2.0 have been not arranged matchups, but matchups versus very strong clans. You know, WHF, Crystal Warrior. We had a good one against Inconceivables. Um, Immoral Thieves we're in right now. Anyways, uh, so I get home at 12.30. I quickly plan my attack, uh, get my troops building, come downstairs at 1 in the morning, try and do a quick recap while my stuff's building. It's like 2 in the morning when I'm done. Then I go make my attack. By the next thing I know, it's like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, wow, I'm not even tired. <laughs> so... Anyhow, I started watching The 100 as well. I don't know if you guys have watched that show, but kind of interesting. Um, a very interesting concept. I'm sort of enjoying it. I just finished watching Lost and kind of a, to me, it was a crummy ending. I understand it, but anyhow, so I'm getting a lot of late night television at the moment, um, really, and uh, trying to fit in these recaps as much as I can, right? But uh, once I'm done planning, once I'm done... Uh, attacking especially if i fail the attack I find it really hard to just muster together the energy to come downstairs at 2 a.m and bust out a recap but um sometimes i get time in the afternoon like this so everything's looking good ryan's got the double jump down i thought that was kind of maybe unnecessary um i guess he didn't want anything to get stalled out here but it's not like he brought a bunch of valkyries right like so what if your golem and king gets stalled out there right you're going to be sending in hogs at this point anyways um, Queen triggers that bomb, which is absolutely perfect. Just sprinkled hogs in all over the place. Heal goes down. It's even helping that king out. I guess the king hopped in and helped the hogs out a little bit. One compartment of defense is left once this uh, 12 o'clock kind of compartment goes down. Arc tower goes down. Drops the uh, giant in there to tank. Three more hogs on the cannon. Everything's just going to push right in. There's like two cannons. Now one cannon, arch tower, and air defense remaining. Clean up whiz around the base. GG. Oh, and the spring trap prevents the cannon, or saves the cannon for a second. Queen's going to step up there in one second. Oh, the golem finishes it off. Never mind, never mind. I'm kind of rushing them today. Sorry, must apologize. But that's tree stars in the bag for Riot. Nice job. Uh, all right, one more from the bottom. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to get ready for work, unfortunately. Um, so, I thought this was kind of a cool attack, a uh, cold-blooded uh, Goho with Earthquakes, uh, two Rages and a Jump, so no no heal spells for the for the Hogs, brings t uh, the Earthquakes and the Jump to me was what caught my eye with this attack. Uh, to me, that's a too huge of an investment, um, but when you get what uh, Torn does out of this, I guess it's worth the investment, right? Because uh, just kind of watch this, how it plays out. Queen walk, everything's going good with it. It's going to kind of charge in. Earthquake to open things up for this queen. Uh, created the funnel, so the queen's going to go out and around and kind of work her way down this little alleyway into where the earthquake spot. She now has access to, like, she has access basically to all the compartments surrounding. Um, so there's only this little tiny piece of base that the queen does not have access to via that uh, earthquake. So you're going to see in a moment uh, what he does with the cold blooded uh, king entry. And this jump kind of piece everything together. Uh, Hound kind of stalls him up. You're going to times two this. There we go. There goes that golem from the bottom. Cold blood of golem goes in. Huge funnels already be created by these uh, minions long ahead of time. Jump goes in. King's going to walk in with that golem. Smack down that defensive queen. See you later. Everything's going to go down. A few hogs in to take care of those Teslas and the cannon in that compartment he cannot reach. And everything's just fine and dandy because the queen's now just meeting up in the middle. Going to meet up with these hogs that are helping her out. Um, she's going to do a little bit of tanking under those healers while the hogs work in and start taking all those defenses. Very nice spring trap there. <laughs> Unfortunately, loses those hogs, but it is cleanup time. Nice job, Torn. Very sexy attack. You did that in crazy good time, too, considering. I know I had times to that, but still. So... Tough war, tough matchup. Uh, we gave it her all. I um, believe we cleared everything, did we? Yeah. So, I mean, the best we can do with the attacks we had, I guess, right? Cleared all those nines, twos on all, twos on their only two tens, and then twos on almost all their elevens. Um, nice two on their number one there. 
Um, you know, came a little short on these guys, but it wouldn't have made a huge difference anyways. Just so many bully attacks. Like you look, they got a triple on Endless via their Town Hall 11, triple on Oki via their Town Hall 11, triple on Salty via the 11, another 11, another 11, another 11, another 11. <laughs> so <laughs> what are you going to do, right? Tough war. Um, you know, these guys are classy about it. Even, um, uh, you know, check them out. Uh, these guys are uh, definitely a very strong Town Hall 11 heavy clan. So if you guys are looking for something, uh, I definitely recommend these guys. You know, Fair Play clan. Uh, they had messaged us in their little clan message there saying good luck. Apologized about the mismatch because they recognized it too right off the hop. But, but it is what it is. You can't uh, can't necessarily control Supercell's matchmaking. Although I'm still convinced 100% that something was done with the matchmaking. Because we have not had... Such, I mean, this was the first very extreme to me mismatched war because of all the Town Hall 11s. We only had one, we had eight. Like, that makes no sense to me. However, all the wars we get in Invicted in 2.0 over the last two weeks have been crazy good matchups against other fair play clans, against, you know, really, uh, really good, good, solid clans, and none of these farming clans. So, uh, if that's what it is, then awesome, because then we're not going to have any farming wars. We're actually have adversity every war, which is kind of a nice thing. It's what we've been asking for as a fair play community. So, I mean, I don't know what was done. I don't even know if maybe it's just my tinfoil hat theory, but is what it is. Gonna call it an afternoon. I gotta get ready for work here, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, we're in the middle of a matchup with the Moral Thieves right now. So that will be very interesting. Should have a recap done uh, by tomorrow for that. Uh, again, guys, too, if you're ever looking uh, for my viewers, I I add these, I add my videos to the playlists for the uh, according for Victor for 2.0 when I upload them. But that doesn't mean it's made public. That still means the public can view it. If you kind of keep an eye on labs and you check the playlists on a regular basis, you'll see the new videos uploaded before we promote them to public. Uh, we like to kind of have the videos uh, up there and then after a couple days, we will push them out on Twitter and promote them. Um, but they are there in the playlist. So if you're ever looking for new uh, new content that uh, you might want to get a sneak peek before uh, it really gets pushed to public, go ahead and check out the playlist, guys. The videos are there. So anyhow, going to call it a day. Uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.